March Racing then come to the second round with no points so far in the European Formula 2 Championship. The championship at the moment led by Stefan Beloff with the Mauer. But it's very early days in the series and here at Hockenheim things are going a lot better for the March Racing team because although Stefan Beloff, the man who won the first round of the championship, is on pole position, Christian Danner in front of his own home crowd here is third quickest in practice. Corrado Fabi, seen here, is sixth quickest in practice. But Johnny Chicotto has had a bit of a problematic practice session and is some way down the field. There's Peter McIntosh, the man who is the team manager of the March Racing team this year. For Corrado Fabi, this will be his second full season in Formula 2 racing in 1982, and he really does want to win that all-important Formula 2 championship for himself, for March Racing, and of course for his sponsors, Roll Oil. Michelin tyres fitted to all of the March Racing entered cars here. BMW power there in the back as the March 822 goes out for yet more practice. Johnny Chicotto, the Venezuelan driver who went very well at the tail end of the 1981 season, looks all set to have a very good season in 1982, although, as we've said, he has a bit of a problematic practice session here at the second round of the championship. One thing about Hockenheim is that it packs in some 80,000 people all around the grandstands, as you can see, which envelop the infield section of the circuit. Christian Danner there coming onto the grid, third quickest on the grid, and there on his 24th birthday, he's presented with his lucky mascot, a Snoopy doll. Danner then right behind the other German driver in this race, Stefan Beloff, who's in pole position. For Corrado Fabi, an important race here, here at Hockenheim because he wants to open his points tally, obviously, to gain those valuable championship points for what is considered to be the most coveted series outside Formula One Grand Prix racing. Straight into the lead, Thierry Boutsin from the German driver, Beloff, Johansson in third place, and uh, that's Palmer in fourth place. Fifth is Chicotto, sixth then is Corrado Fabi. Where is Christian Danner? Danner had a coming together on the first lap with Beloff and has gone off and crashed on the far side of the circuit, so unfortunately Christian Danner out of the race. A big BMW versus Honda battle here at the front, as through into the lead goes Stefan Beloff with the works Mauer, and he is to go on to win his second consecutive race after, of course, he won the first race at Silverstone. Corrado Faber there fighting his way up from sixth place on the grid, telling there Stefan Johansson, behind uh, him there is Beppe Gabbiani with his second German Mara. Johnny Chicotto now in sixth place, and Corrado Fabi destined to finish in third place and get four valuable championship points here. There's Johnny Chicotto in number four, Beppe Gabbiani there with the second German Mara chasing Chicotto. Johnny Chicotto at the end of the race finishes fourth, so a third and fourth place for the March racing team certainly opens their points tally in the 1982 championship series. One interesting factor that was to emerge from the second round of the championship was just how competitive Corrado Fabi and his teammate Johnny Chicotta were, because as you can see, coming towards the finish, third and fourth place, very close together indeed. They may be teammates, but they're going to be racing every inch of the way to try and win the Formula 2 championship for themselves. So Beloff goes on to win, third is Corrado Fabi, and right behind him in fourth place, Johnny Chicotto. And so for the first time on the winner's podium in 1982, this man here, Corrado Fabi, joining the winner, Stefan Beloff, man in second place, Thierry Boutsin, with the Spirit Honda.